So I can come in here, click write a standup. It will start to literally generate a daily standup for me. Literally, this is the dream of every developer, right? ClickUp is about to release a huge new AI feature and they call it ClickUp Brain. And I'm fortunate enough to have early access. And in this video, I want to show you what it's all about, why it's awesome and how it can save you lots of time. If we come here in ClickUp and come over here to the AI feature, we can now open up our AI assistant. Now ClickUp already had some quite powerful AI features, but they really leveled it up with this feature. Over here, we can already see that we can use ClickUp AI to write for us or now also answer questions about tasks or documents that live inside your workspace. So it starts by pointing us into the direction over here where we can define first of all our role within the company. And right now I've set my role to CEO of Data Lumina. And then for that, we can view a bunch of suggested questions that we can ask. So I store a lot of information within ClickUp, but I also have my course in here. And in one of those modules in there, I cover my whole digital system. So how I set up my productivity systems for my work, for my business, etc. So let's ask a question about that document specifically. So what are the elements of this digital system? And here you can see all the things that I cover uh, within that specific module. So cloud storage, task manager, etc. And then it also links to the sources that I can click on and then it will open up the relevant document. But now next, we can also ask questions about the tasks. So let's, for example, check the tasks that I am currently working on. And again, it will provide us with the list of everything that I am currently working on. So tasks that are assigned to me. And again, we can also click on these tasks to open up the specific ClickUp task and see all the information over here. And now another thing that ClickUp AI can help you with is writing. And now this is a feature that's already available but I think they've done such a good job at integrating this with into ClickUp. So you can start with ideas for writing and then select your department. So let's go with marketing and then for example, click on the blog post. And then let's say, let's write the blog on AI and how especially large language models, the models behind chat GPT can save you time. Let's target project managers, keep the tone default and let's set creativity to medium. And now it will start to write a blog post for us. And this is again, such a nice feature to have this inside of ClickUp, not for example, having to go to chat GPT, needing a separate subscription there. But ultimately, and I think that's the most interesting part here, is that they've already engineered the prompts and the domain knowledge behind these questions right into the system. So that you as a user, for example, when you go to ChatGPT and you wanted to write a blog post, you have to really specify what should the blog post uh, look like, um, what are the specific and the, the structure, and it can do that for you out of the box. You will get a pretty general blog post. Uh, you can try it, but here it's much more refined because they've prompt engineered it in such a way to help you. And here you can really see uh, that it ends with a QA session. So again, lots of cool stuff in here. And we can instantly create a document from this. So now we have a blog post which is stored into a document within our workspace. All right, so that is writing, but that's not all. And I think this is the coolest new feature of this whole update. And that is you can write a standup literally with one click. So I can come in here, click write a standup, select 24 hours, bulleted list, and then it will start to literally generate a daily standup for me, highlighting all the specific tasks that I worked on and the status changes. I mean, literally, this is the dream of every developer, right? So uh, this is, of course, useful for, for everyone doing standups, but I know uh, being a developer myself, just the whole idea of a daily standup, developers are like, why should I waste time on communicating what it is that I did when I can just like work on the tasks? It's already in the sprint board. I worked on this task. Next, I'm going to pick up that one. It's just a big thing for developers and having this with like one click of a button, being able to communicate this to your project manager for you, I think it's just awesome. So now I can not only do this for myself, but I can also do this for my team. So I can come in here and I can select, for example, my business partner. And in the same way, I can select a date range and I can select a format and I can generate a standup, which I think is just really cool, really working towards a way where we have this AI project manager by our side that can help us. And now that is what ClickUp AI can help you with at the workspace level. So it can help you with writing and answering questions about documents and tasks, and it can give you status updates for your standups. But now let's take it one step further and look what ClickUp AI can do at the document and the task level. So if we're on a task and we now open up the AI assistant, you can see that the task is now selected here. And this will limit the scope of everything that we do with the AI to just this task. So we can, for example, ask a bunch of suggested questions about this task specifically. We can summarize it or we can get progress updates. So let's get some progress updates on the last 24 hours on this task. 
So we can see start date updated, due date revised, labeled. And this is a, just an easy way of getting up to speed on everything that is going on. And now, of course, as you start to work with more people on bigger tasks, putting more information on this, this is just an example, this gets way better. Now, that is at the task level, but we can also do this at the document level. So let's come over here to writing the release notes, for example, which is also a task, but that's also linked to a document over here. So let's open up that one and open up the AI editor. Here we have a similar setup where we can, for example, ask to uh, spell check it, action items, but also ask, hey, what's the purpose of this doc? And again, if you work with larger teams, more information, more documents, this is a very nice way of first maybe asking an update on what your team is working on with the status updates, then being pointed to certain documents, and then with one click of a button being also able to get a summary on that document. Again, all for transparency, efficiency, just accessing information more quickly. But as with all ClickUp AI features, we can get a lot more creative than just asking a summary or some simple updates. We can also come over here and open up the AI editor within the document and for example, say improve writing, make it longer, make it shorter. So let's, uh, let's make this longer and extend all of this information in here. And it will do that for us. And then we just have to wait for it to finish and we can just hit either replace or insert. And if we do replace, boom, it will be updated in the document. And one of the coolest ways that I like to use ClickUp AI is just to come in here and then for example, write some sloppy text like this and then come in here and then say fix spelling and grammar. And it will just understand the context, replace, write some slop sloppy text about this document and then let ClickUp clean it. And this is such a nice feature that saves so much time. That's really why I use ClickUp Docs as my main way of writing. Even when I have to write emails, stuff like that, I do it all in ClickUp Docs. Do a sloppy first draft and then let AI fix it, then copy paste it into uh, whatever platform I'm sending or publishing it on. All right, and now that is ClickUp AI and the new brain feature in a nutshell. And now, if this is all exciting to you, then I highly recommend checking out ClickUp, starting to experiment with it already to get some information into it. So when this feature does come live, because remember, this is still early access, but they plan to release it very soon, next week already, I heard. Uh, but then, so when it's available, that you already have some information to play with it, because that's really when you can utilize this to your full potential. So if you want to try ClickUp, check out the link in the description where you can sign up for a free account. It's free to get started. And then you can see if you like it, experiment with it, and then maybe ClickUp can become your one app to replace them all, which is their vision. And which is also why I really like ClickUp and why I've decided to move everything that I do within my business to to ClickUp coming from a whole bunch of apps. So we have our sprint boards for our development projects in here, which can also be uh, automated and linked with GitHub. So you can manage your branches, pull requests, all from within here. You can also use some powerful automations to set that up. And this is just for a development project, but you can do this with all kinds of projects. I also use it to run my content calendar in here to manage all of my YouTube video, my LinkedIn posts, and really a lot more. Like I've said, also everything that I do for my course, I just love ClickUp. It's really awesome. It has so many cool functions um, and I could talk hours about it, but that's outside of the scope for this video. That's what I want to show about the new features. If you're excited about it, make sure to check out the link in the description and sign up for your free account. And then that's it for this one. If you found this video helpful, then please leave a like and also consider subscribing. And then I'll see you in the next one.